This is the first ever meeting between Barn Aldwick Town and AFC Liverpool. A match that also sees the debut of Luke Powell, who partners David Ojapar up front, while Paul Willis returns in goal. Blocks him, clears upfield, finds Ojapar. He's checked by Clark, free kick awarded. Corris with the free kick. Delivers it to the edge of the area. Powell heads on. Drops inside the area and Ojapar collects. Lays it back to Torpy. His first time ball into the area finds Bamba. He holds it off for Ojapar who shoots first time. And it's just over the bar. David Ojapar's instinctive first time shot there. Almost giving AFC Liverpool an early lead. Stafford with the throw in. Finds Powell. He holds off the challenge to deliver in a cross, which is headed clear. Bamba chests it down, back to Stafford. Gives it to Powell, who's in space inside the edge of the area. He has a shot across the face of the goal, which goes wide. Luke Powell showing the Reds fans he's not afraid to shoot on sight. Just couldn't quite find the target this time. Throw in, finds Chapman. He evades the challenge of Davis and puts in a low cross to the edge of the six yard area and Steve Corris puts over his own net. If he hadn't have done so, Spencer Jordan would have scored a certain goal for Barnold's Wick Town. Brave defending from Corris. Corner comes in. Williams rises unchallenged and his header isn't too far away. Williams with a free header from the edge of the six yard area will have been disappointed not to have done better than that. Clark. Hayton sticks out a leg and Barn Oldswick Town retain possession. Alderson gets the return. Almost a challenge by Torpy. It drops a Chapman inside the area. He shoots. But fortunately it's straight at Willis. And that was a glorious opportunity for Neil Chapman to give the home side the lead. Fine move by Barn Oldswick Town. Fortunately Willis was in the right place. Throw in. Finds Chapman. Stafford comes in with a challenge. Referees awarded free kick to Barn Oldswick Town. It's a contentious decision. Can't see much wrong in the tackle there by Phil Stafford. And he's gone for goal. Willis hasn't held it. Jordan follows up and knocks a simple tap in to give Barn Oldswick Town the lead. Mistake there by Paul Willis. The ball bouncing just in front of him. He failed to hold on to it. And Jordan was the quickest to react. Airdrie knocks it out to the left, cross comes in, goes across the area, but Jordan manages to retain possession for Barn Oldswick Town. He knocks it back and finds Airdrie, who holds off Kennedy's challenge, and his shot rattles the post. Barn Oldswick Town come within a whisker of extending their lead. Now the ball's with Powell, he breaks through the challenge of Clark, shoots from outside the area, but the ball sails over the bar. Luke Powell let him fly from fully 25 yards, seeing his effort fly over the bar. Moments after Stuart Airdrie had unleashed a cannonball that rocked the AFC Liverpool goal. Clough lays it into the feet of Hayton, who sidesteps the challenge of Corris as a shot. Willis gets his fingertips to it and turns it behind for a corner. Adam Hayton bringing the best out of Paul Willis and AFC Liverpool have their keeper to thank that they're only going in one goal behind at the break. And Bloxham has lost possession to Airdrie who lays a ball across the area to Jordan and Willis makes the save. Spencer Jordan should have grabbed his second goal of the game there. Unmarked inside the area he never really got behind the ball allowing Willis to get down and keep AFC Liverpool in the game. Airdrie knocks the ball out to the right, finds Chapman in space. Takes it to the byline, crosses low into the area for Jordan, Humphreys intercepts and Airdrie follows up and now it is Barn Oldswick down to AFC Liverpool nil. AFC Liverpool exposed at the back once again. Humphreys did well to block Jordan's attempt but he could do nothing about Airdrie following up. Blocks him. Chased down into the corner by Chapman. He clears up field. Pass back to Willis goes astray. And AFC Liverpool concede a corner. 
Corner comes in. Alderson with the header, but it's straight into Willis's arms. Alderson got in front of Corris, but could only direct his header straight at Willis. Blocks him, knocks it down the line for Roger Parr. Now Powell takes over. Gets past Williams, but Alderson clears for a corner. Steve Corris takes the corner. He finds the head of Mark Bloxham, who finds the back of the net with two minutes remaining on the clock. Mark Bloxham, captain for the day, providing a captain's inspiration. Lee Mullen with the long throw in. It's knocked on and finds Bamba, who gets into the area. He shoots, but it's straight into the arms of Carrington. Bamba under pressure from a tight angle couldn't quite find the equalising goal Bamba with the flick on gets the return from Giwa and he's chased down by Clough who cuts out the cross and it's a throw into AFC Liverpool there it is the final whistle and it's Barn Oldswick Town 2 AFC Liverpool 1 a result that sees Barn Oldswick Town go above AFC Liverpool in the league though the Reds do have games in hand on those above them